Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nkonye, also known as Ndi Naija. Ja, ja, ja. Yo, it is pretty late in the month, but your girl is here to do my sinking funds. Well, I'm saying it's pretty late in the month. It really is just, what is it? Well, whatever the date is, I'm here to do my sinking funds for the month of February. February, if you're French. So, let's begin. So, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I should link something up here, you would know that the way I do my budgeting and expense tracking every month is that I begin with this section where I put my variable expenses, my bills for the month, followed by my sinking funds, and then I show a breakdown of my debt repayment and savings update because I am on a financial freedom journey and God willing, I shall save five grand or more this year. So we've done the other part. It's time to do my sinking funds, which I um, use cash envelopes for. I have several different funds which are listed down here. This is what I had for January, and I'll just write it all in. So I've written down everything that um, I will be, well, everything that I like to track. Re I haven't been able to fund all of these items, but I'm writing all of them down so that perchance, and I'm saying this as, per I'm saying perchance, but I am willing, desiring, believing that this money to use for these good things that I've decided is, is going to come to me. So I've written everything down here so far. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to break down. No, I'm going to break down my um, break down the amount that I've set aside for this. So in my January bills, not January, my apologies. In my February bills, I put down that my sinking funds this month are going to be 425. That's in line with what I've been doing for a couple months now, with the exception of, I think, last month. Um, so I'll break it down based on the amounts that I I typically do for each of these categories. Some of the categories I'm not going to fund this month, like tax filing, that's going to be a zero because I did some weird things last month and I, I mixed up some monies, man, because all of a sudden now I don't know where, I think it was, what, 50, 70 bucks went? Yeah, it just whew, disappeared. So my plan is to add, let's take this out because that'll make things easier so this is the breakdown that I'm going to use to go to the bank and get the cash right now I have this here because I'm using my January as a guide for me for February and I'm just going to write what I intend to add add them all up and hopefully I get to 425 if I don't that's where <laughs> there shall be some problems. I'm writing what I typically add to each one. This is 55. Why do I feel like this is wrong? I feel like that number is wrong based on... Ah. Subscriptions. Okay, I know why I feel like that's wrong. So my total subscription should be about $103 a month based on my yearly fees and all of this. If you haven't seen the video of me setting this up, I'll put it up here in the cards. So let's see. I have a total of $662. I only have $425. There are a couple of items that are must-haves regardless of how I feel. HOA dues being one of them, home warranty, 
uh, tax filing isn't here anymore. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the full amount for uh, car maintenance or tech replacement. And then I might skip the um, birthdays and Christmas. I'm actually thinking of taking birthdays completely out of my sinking funds because, I mean, it. I just I don't tend to get to it. Let's leave that one blank until we're done here. So, clothing, I'm still going to make it 30, 30, and then 50. Car maintenance, you know what, let's, let's see if we can do, and tech replacement should be 30. Get my calculator, see how much that is in total, and then we'll, you know, figure the rest out. Ooh, 428. What? Wait a second. I just realized something. So it's 428. I only have 425. So some things here are going to shift. For example, I think my tech replacement is going to go down to 20. Actually, or should it be more? And then should... The clothing, my clothing needs to come down. Uh, tech replacement, that needs to be the same. That actually needs to be the same because I need to get all the money that I need in order to change this device right here. Car, let's put it at 120. Let's see, subscription should be, it should be $65. So let's, let's calculate that again and see what we have. 17 plus 62 plus 59 plus 65 plus 20 plus 30 plus 50 plus 120 plus 30. So that's 453. That removes anything I was planning to buy for myself. So that's minus 20. 433. 433. Minus 425 equals $8. <laughs> I need to shave $8 from somewhere. Oh my goodness, this isn't fun. 30. Should I make that 20? Mm, I only need $8. We will leave that at 30. We will make my car replacement Oh no. Eight dollars, right? Let's make that twenty-five. So minus five. So this should be a hundred and seventeen. Let's do that calculation again. Four twenty-five. We have the total amounts. Now what I'm going to do is ensure Whoops. What I'm going to do is just break these down into their denominations so that when I present it to the teller, I'll know what I'm doing. And I'll know the denominations that they should give me. Oh, so I've, I've done that little tabulation. It might, it might appear to be a lot to some people, but sometimes if you're still in the early stages of your financial freedom journey, you need every single step spelled out. Some people can easily do this with a spreadsheet. I'm not so inclined. I do other things with spreadsheets. So anyway, I have a dollar. No, wow, one dollar. 
I have one $100 bill, expecting that to be 100 Three fifties, that should be 150. Four twenties, that should be 80. Six tens, that should be 60. Four fives, which should be 20. Something's wrong because the total amount is 425. Whoops. Let's see what I have done. Let's add this up. Yeah, something is very wrong. Five plus eight is 13. Plus 6, 19, plus 3 is 22. 2 plus 2 is 4. How did we get to 420? There's a 5 missing somewhere. So HOA, 17. This is 12, clearly. That's where the problem is. The very first one. So I need 5 $5 bills to make that 25. And then, via the magic of television we shall see me putting these in envelopes alrighty folks by the magic of television we've got the cash over here I couldn't get all the denominations I needed so we have $50 missing and $10 missing they didn't have them so what I did was that <coughs> I made this 100 to be 2, 200 hopefully. The next places that I'm putting the $50, I have some change in there. And then 20s, we got a lot of 20s. Let's see how many that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I got 7 20s. Let's make sure it all adds up. 200, 140. They didn't have 10s, so I got a lot of 5s. Oh, goodness. Yeah, and they did this this thing again. Yeah, I can't count it until everything is in the proper in the proper order. And I apologize if this gets too long for anyone, but I cannot fight against my brain. And my brain won't allow me to just count it when it's all cattywampus. Cattywampus. It's a funny name. Okay. That's 15. So we have 15, <clears throat> which is, oops, wrong place. 15 times 5. Is it 75? Let's look at that again. 15 times 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 60, 60, 75, so I was right, I should be, all that schooling, and then this might be 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, wow, this is, ah, one, maybe I should have done this before, coming back on but I didn't check I just separated the monies and here we go ooh this is this is nice already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we still have ten. Ten, ten, and what's that? Two hundred, three forty, three fifty plus seventy five is four twenty five. So we got that right. We got that right. I think I should zoom in a smidge. Zoom in a smidge. Why am I just obsessed with a little order with these notes? I don't know. I wouldn't say obsessed. I just, yeah, not obsessed. I just, I would just like to be, I would just like things to be a little more in order. That's all. That is all. Okay. 
We will begin with HOA dues. Let's get these three out. Three, three envelopes, you sinking funds. HOA dues, we have $17. So we started with, we should have 21 bucks in here. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 plus 17 should be 38. So one, two, three. That's 15, 16, 17. One, two. That was a short mistake. I don't know if you call it short. Let's see. So 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 38. And I'm writing in the ending balance because I don't expect to use these. I don't expect any money to come out of this envelope until next year when the HOA dues are, um, are ready. So this is, I added 17, 38. Okay, you sit over there. Next item is home maintenance. We started with 184, 150, 60, 70, 84. Like I said in my January closeout video, some buyings happened. I'll need to write that in pencil. So 184 plus 62. Do I have 50s here? Okay. I'm going to use this 50 and make some change. So I'm taking 100, putting back 50. So that's 50, 60, and then 2. Okay. Okay. Adding two back here, and then 50. So 184 plus 62, let's make sure, 184 plus 62, 246. 210, 220, 230, 240, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 246. I'm writing that in pencil because typically if I have to get my grass cut, the money comes out of here. So I'm not sure how much would be in here until the end. So we have home maintenance, home warranty. Home warranty, we just add to that. Home warranty, we should have 490 in here. I should be paying this next, next month or April? Next month. I think it's next month, I'll see. So 490, 100, 2, 3, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 480, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 490 plus 59 and I have the calculator right here to do that and make sure that what I what I add is equal to what will be in this hand uh, because I made a huge mistake last time and I had some monies just whew, fly around all right so 490 plus 59 490 plus 59 549 can you guys see the see the calculator slight just slightly or slightly out of frame 549 so we have 490 now to add 50 5 1 2 actually let's add 60 and put back 1 yep let's do that so we're putting $5 in here no $10 in here and then 50. We'll count it again and see if we come up with this number. Five, 
forty. Five forty nine. Yes, I think next month is the month where this has to be paid. And that would mean we are winning, 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 winning. We have a big bill, a big bill that is ready to be paid. <sighs> Excuse me, folks, allergies. Next amount, we have subscriptions. Let's see where the subscriptions is. Subscriptions, tax filing is zero. Clothing for me will be zero. Clothing for the kid. Activities. Car maintenance. I think I brought that out already. Car maintenance and tech replacement. Yeah. All right, so subscriptions. I have it here as Sam. Subscriptions, what did we start with? That number should be incorrect. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 185, 186, 187, 188, 189, 190, 191, 192. <clears throat> 192. Starting here with 192. I don't have subscriptions due until... Until when? Actually. When is the first subscription due? February? I think it's February. The post office. I'll look. So we have 65. 1, 2, 3. And then 5. Neat and simple. 60 and 5. So we have 192 plus 65 equals 257. 50, 70, 90. So it's 50. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 150. 150. And that's 200 because that's 50. 200. 210, 220. 230, 240, 250, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 257. Uh, this is February. I think I should write this in pencil. Because I'm not sure. I think one of my... Where is that list? <clears throat> Better be safe than sorry. And it's already written down, so there's no need to guess. Uh, nope, I should be looking in fees. Tax filing is done. I thought the post office was due. I'll have to look at this. The post office, I believe, is due. This month. So that is subscriptions. We have... Oh, what's today's date? Lord. Is today the 8th or the 9th? I think it's the 8th. And we added 65. Uh, 257. Okay. Uh, so we've done that one. Tax filing is zero. Clothing for the kid. We started with $130. I'm going to need to get him some jeans or something. No, not jeans. Pajamas. And these allergies. <clears throat> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, one hundred, twenty, thirty. And then we are adding thirty dollars. So we have twenty plus 10. So that's 30. That should be an easy 160. That might not stay the same because I will need to purchase some pajamas. So that's clothes, uniforms et al. 
Yo, pray for me. This would be sufficient. Ah, uh, for back to school. Okay, 100. Two, how much was left in here? It says 344. Let's see if that is accurate. One, two. So that's three, 10, 20, 30. 335, 6, 7, 8, 9, 340, 2, 3, 4. And we will be adding $50 to that. Uh, let's see. I don't need to do that because that's going to be for the car. So 50, 1, 2, and 1, 2, and that's 50. How much was it? 344? 344 plus 50 is 394. So we have five. Two fives and two twenties. One hundred, two hundred, one, two, three, four, five. Three hundred. Uh, 300, 320, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 380, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 394, just like we expected. I don't, well, this is for both uniforms and activities, so there's a chance this number will change. I should have written it in pencil because there are a couple of things that I need to do. All the stuff for Valentine's Day, which I need to purchase tomorrow, all the stuff for Valentine's Day is going to come out of this envelope. It's part of why I have this envelope because oftentimes, just stuff would just spring up on you. They would say, oh, we have this weekend, we need to get this and that and this and that. They, they yeah, and I'm like, look, dudes, I didn't budget for this. So, enter sinking funds. You don't know what they're going to expect or require or need. And the teachers are teaching your children. So, yeah, you, you don't have a choice. You, you have to do. You just have to do. You have to find the money somehow, somewhere. And sinking funds are a great way to, quote unquote, find the money. All right, next would be car maintenance. <laughs> Oh, God help me. When I need this money, I will have it. When I need the money, I will have it. We are adding 117. 115. Okay. Plus 2. 17. So, we have 69 in here. 1, 2, 40, 50, 65, plus 4. And then 69 plus 117, oops, equals 186. Yeah. I think I talked about it in one of, one of my older, much older uh, cash envelope stuffing when I had bought something. I think tires? I forget what it is I bought. But I was like, ah, I don't like spending these sinking funds. But it's to maintain the car. Uh, if you don't want to maintain your car, then oops, don't spend the money, whatever. Okay, we have 120, 40, 150, 160, 170, 180, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 186. <laughs> I don't expect to spend anything this month. Yeah, because you can't use $186 to change spark plugs in a Kia. That was why I was saving all this anyway. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Just be grateful. Yes. I will be grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you gave me the presence of mind to begin sinking funds when I did so that the money that I was putting away was useful when the time came yes the money was there what did we say we had before 60 186 minus 117 we can do that backwards 69 
Alrighty, tech replacement is what's next. And we should have 200 bucks in tech replacement. Eight, nine, oh, do that again. One, two, three, four, five, 100, one, two, three, 160, 170, 180, 195, 96, 197, 98, 99, 200. And we are adding $25. One, two, three, four, five. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! We got it. No mistakes. Thank you, Jesus. No mistakes. We should have 225 in here. Man, we are in February. Ooh. Anyway, do I need to count it? Yes. Let's just verify. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 200, 210, 215. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 220, 2, 3, 4, 5, 225. And that is it, people. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope your day goes great. Your week goes great. You should be seeing this on Monday. And, oh, hold on a second. It's 200. My expectation is that, yes, 225. So that's it, folks. Sinking funds are done. Sinking funds slash cash envelopes. So thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.